already. So I'm not sure. Are, are they cleaning bathrooms? Are they taking out the trash? I think it's just clean bathrooms. Bathroom. They take out the trash and they periodically wipe down the whiteboards and blackboards, although I don't think it's once a week. Mostly just taking out the trash. So we could ask, we could be like a national park. We could say to the students, you brought it here, right and take the trash in the I'm, I'm, I'm not really being facetious. I'm talking about a catastrophic event in California history. So if it really means that we can teach more students, if we don't have the classrooms cleaned as often, then I'm like, I can live with this. But, you know, and then find a way to grasp me. Um, well, if they were, were going to do, if they were doing it twice a week, and no one did once a week, and we saved half of the mill, it, it, may, it may be important to us. It's maybe, that's maybe three or four adjunct positions right there. You know, I'm not a and I, and I don't really work with Will, but I know. Take something for them? Kitty doesn't work here anymore. She was like, what was that? The student workers and TV are both gone. They were eliminated last year when they eliminated OCTV. Gone. Um, even checking out the equipment that still exists now falls to Andres Orozco, who has to be that part of his faculty meeting. So we've lost a media person. We used to years ago have a media person. Um, we don't have, we have the IT people who fix things in our classrooms, but we don't have anybody to do it. Um, OCTV wasn't so curricular. It didn't fall under Time 5. It was something we still have Channel 15 licensed to us, but there's nobody to actually do anything with that, that person has gone. So, what else remains on the co curricular side? We have student activities, but we no longer have a student activity. Not that person. And so there's minimal expenses there. And then there's an athletics. Athletics can occur in nine sports and six sports. It's approximately 450,000. And it's not protected by the last board is the last step and the last step is suspended, right? Yeah, but really, 
in, in something like this, I feel that it, as a kind of corporation, it's a program. And as a program, I think we really need to look at it full. Uh, maybe that's the kind of data we need to look You need to look at the clock, because each, uh, as Carolyn pointed out right now, if each of them do bring an FGDS there, and of course you can call with them. And they can, so I wonder what the impact has been on the reduction from the other three programs that were suspended. What was the total, you know, it's not like we're actually serving 200 students more than we're capable. So it's just fine. But it hasn't been an issue that we've used. We're always probably going to have a few more students than than we're finding. But then we go back and we're saying what kind of college we want. To That's right. So far, um, Tom will see if he can do it. Yeah, but FDS is a huge effort. A lot of these students are from the local area. Uh, soccer, baseball, a lot of these students from the local area, and that's who we serve. A lot of these students get scholarships when they leave here. And it's a great pathway to the university. And you really have to consider that. It's an opening for these students to get to the university. And also, you've got the, the publicity for the college that you get out of the other side of the river, we've got BC, but I can't even count how many sports we have. We've got sports everywhere. We can't really cut our sports down significantly over here. And I'm very much afraid that if we keep cutting them down, a student will look at Oxnard College and look at BC and say, what's Oxnard College got? You know, no athletic program. BC's got this huge athletic program. So we have to consider that competition.
person I'm from Palmdale but for my situation I'm trying to use an Oxnard as a not originally it was somewhat of a safety net because I fell from another school and there's other guys that kind of have similar stories to that and there's other guys that are also here for themselves as their first you know first option and it's it's been kind of I don't want to say a lifesaver but it's been a great like program to go to I've gotten a lot out of it met a lot of guys I don't want to speak just for us, but I, can't, I don't play girls soccer, I don't run track, so it's kind of hard to touch on that for them, but them the same too, but um, 
I mean, for our program, if you if you walk out there, we, this is mainly one of the only guy sports still around that, that we have at our school. So if you walk out there, if you if you look at the field, you can see the years of success we have. I mean, it's kind of written up there in bold letters, so you can see it too. But it's up there for people to see, you know, for that reason. And a lot of guys are only going here for this reason. So, and I heard I heard um, th this gentleman say earlier that the main priority is for this community as a whole, but there's a lot of guys that left Moore Park. There's a lot of guys from where I'm from. There's guys from Hawaii that are here. So it's so cutting a program wouldn't just extend to Oxnard, it would extend much further out. And also other good points earlier they said about that, you know, it's a good way to get people on and that kind of thing. And without without athletics and if I feel like if it's a reflection of society somewhat you know, there's, there's pro sports. A lot of people, that's what they live their lives for is Monday Night Football or the World Series. So it's like, what kind of message are you saying if you can't have that to kids here, if you can't see that as an adult? It's like you're kind of missing a step there. So I think it's an important thing that, you know, everybody kind of needs and that it's a good way to keep a lot of guys who might not be here and who might leave if it doesn't exist to all stay here and kind of, it's a good thing for the school. So good thank you.
Um, they're here because of faculty members who recruit them to come here. Uh, all our coaches obviously actively recruit them to come to Oxnard College. I, I, I don't think other, other faculty members recruit quite as hard as we do to get them to come to other programs. But uh, we certainly get out in the community and talk to people about coming to Oxnard College. So we talk about that a lot in our, in our department. Um, I know you're all aware of the national uh, and the local initiatives, um, the call for the Obama administration uh, for community colleges to increase the degree and certificates by five million by 2020. Um, I know the AACC, the American Association of Community Colleges, also expressed a uh, shared commitment uh, to the goal of 50% more students with high quality degrees. Um, our group of student athletes, the ones you're looking at right now, they represent a 2.79 GPA compared to the uh, same cohort of first time, full time students at 2.63. Uh, we're also representing a 41% transfer ready rate uh, versus a 28% transfer ready, ready rate. And of course, graduation, the one we're all looking for at the state, uh, we represent 30% here at Oxnard College while other first time full-timers are only at 13%. 30 versus 13, it's a huge number. Um, these students, like mentioned before, they all gotta be in 12 units. Most of them take more. Uh, Vicki D mentioned about her work and how many units she's taking, all the way up to 15, 16 units. Uh, nine units have to be uh, towards their ed plan. That means they're all taking your courses, as you know, you recognize a lot of them. Um, they have to have a 2.0, and of course, we've had to have ed plans before they participate. I know we're going to that, but we've been doing it in athletics for forever. And so, uh, nothing new to us uh, to require more, and I always tell my student athletes, we expect more from them. Um, but, but the model works. It's proven around the state. Uh, statewide numbers uh, are similar to here to Oxnard. Um, they're motivated, they're passionate, they're all here today. Uh, because they're passionate about their sport. The same for me, I, I was going to uh, Cuesta College because of the sport I played. Um, the school was, was obviously a, a huge bonus. I, I wouldn't have been here without it, but um, they're motivi motivated by their love. Um, if you eliminate everything on the other side of Simpson Drive over there, um, you're gonna lose, as you see, you're gonna lose all these students, you're gonna lose their successful numbers. Um, we're going to be that much closer to becoming a district center. We're a comprehensive, a comprehensive college right now. Um, I don't think we want to become a satellite campus of the BCCD. Um, like I said, if you put a fence up over there, um, it's going to be a sad day. Please consider saving Oxnard College athletics.
the GPA is excellent, the graduation rate is excellent. Uh, these people go on to have careers as a result of their education. Some of them actually succeed in like baseball. Um, but these, these guys transfer, go to four year schools. They have to make progress over here. It's not just the 12 years, they got to make progress. Why well, a number of them graduate? We've had like 4.0 students. I don't know how many 4.0 students we have right now on our baseball team. Uh, you know, 3.6 and above. There's quite a, quite a number of them. Maybe you don't know. Quite a number. Personally, um, I feel like to remain a vibrant community college here, I think we have to. Um, I think we have to save our athletics programs. I think four or five years from now, if we didn't have athletics, we would really regret our decision um, to put them on the list if we discontinued. So um, I think it's, it's time to it's time to stand up and say, for Rockford College, you know, this is part this is part of our, our identity. We have the largest city in the county, and we can't continue to shrink and give ground to. We need to grow to, to um, serve our entire community. We have the largest city in the county. Our buildings, our attempts at growing buildings, but our student population is going down. So it's time to dig in and, and tell our district, you know, throw us a lifeline. We, we want to remain, we want to serve, we want to serve our, our community. We don't want to see to 